Addressing the media after vetting and balloting, Fifi Fiavi Kwete indicated that he has all the qualities to occupy the general secretary position. According to him, the party's defeat in the 2020 elections is a clear indication that his two contenders who played important roles in that contest proved unfit for the position. In 2020, we saw that situation. My two colleagues I'm, I'm contending with both were in that situation in 2020. One of them was in charge of the elections, as a director of election. The other was a deputy general secretary in charge of operations. So effectively, those two were in the very heart of the operations of the party. And they clearly failed in their job. They both slept on their job. One who was in charge of the director of election was unable to ensure that even the collation of the result was done on time. And of course, if you fail to collate results on time, you cannot blame the opponent for stealing that election. I was, I, I was communication officer or propaganda secretary in 2008, and I took an additional job of collating results on behalf of this party, and we did it on time, and that was what saved this party in 2008 when MPP tried the same thing that they tried to do in 2020, they failed to do. Dr. Catherine Denu, who is aspiring for the Deputy General Secretary position, also noted that she is the best person to occupy the position. According to her, delegates must give her the nod come December 17. Dr. Mrs. Catherine Denu is contesting for Deputy General Secretary. I'm contesting for Deputy General Secretary because I have a lot I need to bring on board. So as to win power come 2024. I've been the deputy national women organizer at the national level before. I know what goes into elections. When we talk about elections, it's just about getting the numbers, getting people to vote so that we win elections. Political party, the biggest agenda of our goal is about winning elections. So. We have the operation side and then the administrative side. Administratively, when things are really good at administrative level, that is when we are able to move the party forward. Together with whoever will become the secretary, I am ready to partner with that person as the deputy. We work together to garner more votes for the party so that we win elections come 2024. For his part, National organizer aspirant, who is number six on the ballot, Chief Hamilton Biney Nixon, expressed optimism of winning the election on December 17. Voting is done by the grace of God. As you all know, I'm aspiring to be the next national organizer for the NDC. We did the balloting and I'm on number six. All I want delegates to know is that we need somebody who can help strengthen the structure of this party. After the party structure is strengthened, you need to protect what it is into the general election, as in the vote. You need security. And then the last one is the support. These are the three key uh, messages that I'm going around telling the delegates. I'm very optimistic that I will be the next national organizer of the NDC. I thank you all for your support. I pray that we all live to see 17th December. And by the grace of God, Chief Hamilton Biney Nixon will be elected as the next organizer. As the days get closer for the National Congress of the National Democratic Congress, almost all the aspirants are asking the delegates to vote for them on that D day. Reporting for City News, my name is Philip Nee Latte.